Hey, was you here? I was just watching uh, the uh, In the Soup by Seventeen. Uh, in my own, you know, to put on my Patreon, and I heard this, and I'm like, hmm, this is not it, because it sounded very R and B and something, yeah, older dude might like. Uh, and I just wanted to check it out. So here we go. Same dream, same mind, same night. Concert. Wow, this is a, such a departure from, like, when people say 17, I think they just think about guys, uh, okay, it's because I had that kind of uh, impression of them, like, like, I didn't know 17, 17, but like, I just remember, like, there's a bunch of guys, and they, they dance, like, oh, the synchronization was awesome and they danced and they do this poppy stuff right and it just it's incredible as i like learned more about 17 because i've been doing quite a lot of 17 um uh the uh, content you know the introduction thing and in the soup thing but what i'm finding out is that like so many of these groups are so freaking talented. The vocals here are just flat out great. The control, uh, the uh, the their uh, head voices, it just it's very emotive. It's it's the song itself is it's just uh, very sweet. Uh, it is written and sang very appropriately. This is great. Um, I just hope more people just, you know, just that I think this is the thing about K pop. Most of the songs they promote are, you know, dancey, poppy stuff. And that's what they promote. And their B sides, you know, the album usually have wonderful songs and each of the members depending on what they're capable of they all have just a lot to contribute but we just like when people see k-pop they hear about k-pop they only think about just dancey poppy songs but that is so not true and if you're a fan uh, or if you know a little bit about k-pop there are these guys there are so many different type of music, different genre of music, and just awesome. Man, it, this is so R and B though. It it kind of it reminds me a little bit 
of uh hmm, like uh 2 a.m like jyp <laughs> because uh, there was one group uh there was 2 p.m and 2 a.m in jyp long time ago i think they're like second gen um but 2 a.m only he just promoted uh like ballads and slower songs I think DK would just fit right in, in there. Sweet, sweet. And this is live. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. DK is really good. Yeah. I just love these R&B songs, especially the second second verse, where it's like second part of the song usually comes in with like ad libs and like these guys, five guys, you know, beautiful voices. Uh, you know, they do the ad libs and just harmonies and you know, just kick it up a notch at the end. I don't know. There's something so cathartic about that. You know, just. Ah, uh, this was a wonderful find. Um, yeah, I, I seem to find more and more songs from Seventeen or other K-pop groups uh, as I learn more about K-pop groups. I mean, more in depth. Because, yes, I have heard a lot of different type of K-pop in the last 20 years, 30 years or something. But, yeah, I'm closer to 30 years. But, um... Uh, for a lot of teams, it was superficial. Uh, you know, I can't be like checking out each team like in depth. I only did that for only very few teams. And um, yeah, just uh, like most of the teams, especially talented ones, like more I learn about them, you know, you find more gems in there. So I hope you guys, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure like, uh, most likely, if you guys are checking this video out, you might be 17 fans, but you should check out other teams too. Maybe you'll find a lot of uh, wonderful stuff uh, in other teams. There's a lot to love here. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, like and subscribe.